Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's a pretty gray day for most of us, unless you're in the southwest, and it was snowing out here. In fact, we're going to start with a look at the uh, traffic cameras out there. Some of it is melted throughout the day, but you can see here in Painted Canyon in the uh, median there, the interstate, the snow sticking as well as Manning and Fairfield. Most of the snow gone in Grassy Butte. Now we'll go to the extreme southwest and there's quite a bit snow. You can see in Bowman and Amadon, there's snow covered. Uh, mostly on the grassy surfaces, same thing in Dagalum. New England, not too bad. Now, I haven't seen any totals yet come in to the uh, National Weather Service, but wouldn't be surprised, especially uh, the Bowman area and things like that, picking up at least a couple of inches. Some other places, it's quite nice, like in the rugby area, where it's uh, pretty pleasant out there as we take a live look outside to the intersection of Highway 2 and Route 3. There are 32 right at the freezing mark in the rugby area, but those winds out of the north northwest at 18, man, that's a chilly wind chill for April, where it feels like 20 degrees right now. Temperatures elsewhere, you can see our wind bars coming out of the north and northeast around an area of low pressure, mostly in the 30s, but where it is snowing, you can see upper 20s, Bowman and Henninger right now, just 30 in Beach, 33 in Dickinson, but 41 in Mobridge and 38 in the capital city, 35 right now in Minot. There are those winds, as I said, out of the north at between 15 and 20 miles an hour. Those are sustained. There are higher gusts embedded in these winds. So it, uh, you'll need to hold on to your hat if you're going out tonight. The satellite radar, the presentation here doesn't look too ominous. You can see that snow back down to the south. However, as we've said many times before, there is a radar hole. Here's a snapshot of the Water Commission radar south of Bowman. Bowman is right in here. And the heaviest snow now across northwestern sections of South Dakota. This has all been shifting to the south as we've gone through the afternoon. So it looks like the worst is over for our friends across the southwest. And you'll be able to see with precision cast that snow getting out of here, mostly to the south by tomorrow morning. Clouds will thin out. We'll have a pretty nice Easter, a mix of sun and clouds. It will be cold, but not too bad. And precipitation free here over the next couple of days, but the cold will be the big story. We'll have a big dip in the jet stream funneling in colder air, and that will stay with us for a good portion of the week. In fact, I don't see temperatures returning above normal until we get all the way to next Saturday. That's when we'll start to get a return flow of some warmer air. Lows tonight, not too bad. A little bit below average where we should be 23 in Bismarck, 16 in Beach, 18 in Dickinson. Teens to the west. Uh, lower 20s to the southeast, especially around the capital city. Three-day forecast for Dickinson. Chilly, to say the least. 32 Sunday, 29 for Monday, and then we start to warm back up. Just 36, though, on Tuesday. Williston, about the same thing. You can see just a high of 30, a windy day on Sunday. But your Easter Sunday, a partly sunny day with a high of 34. And here's your extended forecast for the Bismarck area. Not too bad for Easter. 35 degrees. And then the rest of the week, Sun and clouds for the rest of the week with temperatures slowly warming. But you can see by the time we get to next Saturday, back into the 60s, back into more comfortable temperatures. About the same thing in Minot, average high of 53. Chilly, 20 to 25 degrees below normal to start the work week. But as you can see here, Renee, those temperatures finally starting to warm up as we get toward the uh, latter half of the upcoming week. Okay, well, we'll look forward to Friday this week. Yes. Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, how one local coach is getting in the game to help his community.